بکنیم که انشاءالله این سریعا اجرایه بشن و بتونیم همکاریمون رو همیختر بکنیم و روندی که الان تحریم ها برای ما و چشور شما رو هم درست میکنن و قدرت خودمون رو در مقابل این ها بتونیم هستش چین و ایران و کشور هایی که در مقابل ما هستن با شانک های و بریکس و اوکراسی ها اینا میتونه قدرت مقابل اون باشن و با قدرت در قدرش اکسیدان هم نشون بدن و دیگه هم نخوام کنه و کنه over my enemies but dare not come near my beloved dare not this is what the Lord says Putin I have given you power over my enemies those of you that know you will know which enemies those are I it. but he says dare not come near my beloved dare not and you know who the beloved is we don't have to go there he continues to say, do not awaken the bear. Do not poke the bear. When I was in prayer, the Lord took me into the spirit realm and he started to speak in a way of uh, reason with Putin. And he was appealing to his heart. And for the first time, I actually got to see his heart. And the Lord was making me see and understand that this man doesn't want world war. He's thinking about it, but he doesn't want it. And the Lord is appealing to his heart in this time that no matter how much they press him, that he shouldn't give in to what they are doing. The enemy wants to tempt him to be triggered uh, for world war. But the Lord is saying, we need to pray for this man. Hallelujah to remain in a place of calmness. He said, do not awaken the bear. And we also need to be praying for all efforts to push him to the brink, to push him and to push the world to the brink of war to not happen. Whatever efforts that are being put out there to fail in this time, hallelujah. The world will not go to war. We have to pray, beloveds.